Hi, Python rejects and parsing matrix script. Neo has a complex matrix script. The matrix script is a n cross n grid of strings. It consists of alphanumeric characters, spaces, and symbols. This is the matrix script, and we have n rows and m columns. To decode this uh, script, you need to read it from top to bottom, column wise, and replace the special characters with a space. So if you read it top to bottom, uh, you will find this is matrix. So that is the decoder um, value. Now let's go to the input. On the first line, we are getting the rows and columns. We will look through the rows and add these items in a list which they are already doing in the code. Uh, these input items are stored in the matrix list and uh, let's print this, print this list and see the output print matrix and we are getting this input in a uh, list format now all we have to do is read from this list and we have to read uh, the first letter from this uh, list items followed by the second letter from this list items and followed by the third letter. So to do that, we will pass this uh, list items to a zip function and we need to pass the individual um, strings. So I let a star here. Now this will pass the individual strings to this uh, zip function and it will return a zip object. Now I will convert that uh, zip object to a list object by passing it to a list function and I will so store it in a list. I will call this list, sorry, a variable and I will call this variable uh, decoded underscore list is equal to the list. Yeah, let me print that uh, decoder list. run the code and see how we are getting. Yeah, so it has zipped all these uh, values and it stored it in a tuple and this time it read it uh, vertically which means the first uh, character in each of the list. So we have this is and we have i part of that is and followed by the matrix. Now all we have to do is uh, use a join function and uh, uh, we will get the output as a string. So for that, let me look through this uh, decoder list for item in uh, decoder list. So I have a decoder string now, decoder underscore string which is equal to I will append this uh, decoder string to the existing decoder string for which I will initialize the string to a empty string and I will add uh, this item and I will not just add this item I will use a join function dot join yeah so what this will do it will join this um, first tuple uh, with without any space and it will add the uh, uh, string to this uh, decoder string so and it will do that for all these um, uh, items inside the list and we will get the decoder output. So let me just uh, print this uh, decoder string. And let me comment out the print statements. Yeah, that's only one. I think that's it. So 
this is matrix yeah so of course uh, we did not do the uh, rejects part uh, we need to remove this um, uh, special characters and to do that let me import uh, the rejects package yeah so it is already there I will just remove these empty lines and yeah so I will use uh, rejects dot sub function here sub and I will pass uh, the input uh, arguments so we will pass uh, the first argument which is the condition that we want to search and uh, we will pass the second argument and that is the um, character that needs to be replaced so we will be replacing with a space so we will find out uh, the special characters and I will replace those special characters with a space and I will give this uh, decoder string as input okay now within the string we need to find the uh, special characters so just do a condition uh, I need to check for all the alphabets so A to Z I also need to check for uh, uppercase alphabets so I will use uppercase A to uppercase Z I also need to check for numbers so I will also pass uh, 0 to 9 now I need to uh, check uh, the characters which does not match this so I will use a not function here yeah so let me run this code and I'll pass this to a print function yeah let's see the output yeah your output is uh, this is matrix but we need to get this uh, in this format um, yeah, so we need to check only for uh, the words so I'll just uh, use the flag here slash oh yeah slash B and I'll end it with uh, slash B yeah so that uh, won't go beyond this uh, uh, matrix so we will be getting uh, these outputs okay yeah let's uh, run the code and before that let me remove the print statement here this is matrix okay yeah so I we need to check for uh, the continuation okay so we just don't don't have to check for a single character uh, we need to check for a continuous uh, occurrence of this character so let's uh, add a plus uh, operator and let's run the code yeah so it passed the initial test case let me submit the code uh, yeah so it passed all the test cases and we got uh, 100 points nice yeah so that's the solution uh, if you like the video uh, hit the like button and uh, if you like the content consider subscribing to the channel thank you